uh, and you should be wearing a mask anytime that you cannot socially distance six feet apart. As testing continues for coronavirus, an increased number of people are testing positive leading Seminole County leaders to again stress the importance of following all the safety guidelines. This is not a Republican, a Democrat deal. This is a virus. It doesn't care who you are. It doesn't care if you're a Martian. Currently, we have 56 hospitalizations, and that has steadily increased over the last several weeks as well. We were hovering between 20 and 30 hospitalizations for several weeks. Increased hospitalizations, active cases have doubled. Not as bad as midsummer, but concerning. And we hope people will continue to do the right thing to protect their friends, their family members, their co-workers. The now is reminding people how they can slow the spread. The future is how is the county going to be prepared when a vaccine is finally rolled out. This is one of four high-tech, super-cold freezers already in place in Seminole County. That's 80 below Celsius, more than 100 below Fahrenheit. The county wants to be ready with the equipment needed for whatever vaccine is approved. Also, when the vaccine comes, we don't want to be waiting and ordering things at that point. We want to go ahead and start delivering the vaccine to the people that need it. And using a flu vaccine clinic, the county already set up a test to see how it could work for COVID-19, all in an effort to be ready. In Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. <laughs>